your favorite podcast duo. Thanks, Justo. And I got my beautiful co host here. Pause. 1017.LJ, man. Whatever, you know, man. We in the Whatever. building. Pause, for sure, though. I appreciate the compliment, though, for sure. We're both pretty handsome young men, you know. Yeah, exactly, bro. Yeah. All the hoes. Aunties, grandmas. The whole line. Mamas. Mamas? Nah, mama's outdated now. We're going for aunt, we're going for aunties. Hey. Yeah. That's Mom. your vibe. The lines rise out the door too, baby. <laughs> Damn. Damn right. <laughs> That's tough. What you been on though, man? It's been a long it's been it's, it's been, been a very, a, very it's been a long two weeks, bro. You damn right it has. It's been a long two weeks, it's been bro. A very long two weeks. Yeah, I had a had a family situation go on. I had to, you know, take care of business first week. Yeah. Second week. Uh unfortunately one of our supporters have passed away. Shout out Chris. Uh shout out Chris. You will be missed. Yeah, damn. That's yeah. Far. Chris was always on our ass about the audio. He said everything else is great, but our audio, we needed to step we're it up. We're broke. I don't know what to tell him. We are broke, Chris. I'm, I hate we're to broke. tell you we're broke, but hey, we're working with what we got, and I appreciate everybody who supports the podcast. You know, it was a very, very rough two weeks for me. Especially for, uh, especially that it was in August or we're still in August, early August. So that was around the time of my birthday. So uh, yeah, it's it's been a rough two weeks, but hey, we're back. We're here. We are ready? Lock and loaded. Yeah. What about you? My two weeks, man. Uh, I pretty much treat it as a vacay, man. You know, what I'm saying? we're back on the Twitch now, baby. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, how 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 does, Ooh, how does nigga, the line go again? You was doing the. The yeah, alphabet at that yeah, point. Yeah, ABC, D, I, I, B, B, C, C, D, D. I just said some language. I, you I, didn't even I know what you just something. said. Like, I don't know who got this. <laughs> who got this shit. Someone just got to spell. gave somebody voodoo. Oh, God. That's crazy. Um, Yeah. Twitch.tv. Shots things just so. I'm there. I'm live. I'm there. Now. We live, baby. We yeah, live. I'm there now. Yeah. Live on the Twitch. For sure, I love it now. I love Twitch now. Bro. You love Twitch. I love it. I fuck with that. I love it. I'm, I'm glad. Fired. I'm glad you back streaming though, bro. Yeah. I've been. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a minute, yeah, bro. It's been a minute, man. I'm glad, bro. Oh man. But yeah, you took took your two weeks as a vacation. What what all you do, bro? What all I do? Mm-hmm. Touchdown, with girl. Fem. Type she must be nice. Been there, been I be there like every two days or so. Okay, I'm not gonna say where though, cause I don't know who who watching. Who yeah. watching? Federal ass. Federal. If you see me, you see me. Type shit. Just shit like that. But nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. If you see him, you don't see him. Makes nah, sense. Say what's up if you see me though. Like, oh okay, okay. Say what's up. You want okay. I'm saying? Don't be All a right. don't be the guy that like you know what I'm saying takes a picture. Like, and then send it and to then you. Send, and then ask me on, on the story. <laughs> don't do that. That's weird. Okay, That's I, so I, weird. I, I can respect that. that. I can respect that. Um, just say what's up though if you see me. So facts. Shout out y'all, man. Um, but yeah, bro. When get to the first first thing you want to talk topic, about, bro. bro. Okay. Oh man, nah. Let's 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 start with our birthdays, bro. You know, birthdays. we both both oh, Leos, both man. our birthdays passed. What you yeah, do? Yeah, man. You asking me? Yeah, what you do? Oh, since I'm the most recent, you know what I'm saying? You are the most recent, yeah. Um, not really, bro. You know, I, I didn't really do that much, bro. I didn't go to a bar. I didn't, because I have, ooh, let's talk about that. Let's ah. talk about this story. Ooh, let me, okay, okay. okay let's let me, get into let me, it, man. Let me get back. Let me get back on top. Okay. I, I was chilling. I was chilling in the house, you know what I'm saying? I said what's up to moms and all that, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Just chill, you know what I'm saying? Let everybody say what's up, you know? Happy birthday, da da da. Got some bread. I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. Now, a lot of people are asking me, Justin, you're going to take a shot? Let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. Now, at the current moment right now, with, for me, I'm currently in a heavy PTSD stage with alcohol because I have a very traumatic story that happened very recently at our good friend Jelani's house. Damn. It's it's crazy because I already know the story, oh, but man. I'm sure the people would love to they, know your, your love, traumatic. Know, people that's close to me already know the story, but I'm going to just say, I'm going I'm to I'm read Relive the situation. Relive the whole, yeah, I want to relive the whole situation because it's fucking hilarious. You want the you want when we do like the playback, like the play by playback, or you want yeah, we let's do a playback. Let's do a playback. I think the playback is more funny. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so I took a shot. I came in. It was just me and Jelani. We took a casual shot together because it was just us two. Just icebreaker. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward. Our friend Kendall comes. Kendall brings brown liquor, Crown Royale. He brings Crown Royale. Me. I'm like, fuck it. Crown Apple? 
let's get some crown apple going. So I got a cup of crown apple. I'm drinking the clown apple. Clown, not clown. Clown apple. The clown apple. Yeah, I feel like a clown after that situation, though. There was a point where I mixed the tequila, the white tequila, with the with the brown. Okay. Number one rule: never mix your alcohols. Never mix your alcohols. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I did it. I wasn't thinking. I was feeling good though. I was straight. You was vibing. I was vibing. Nico comes and Nico brings the casa. So I got like this much of casa in the drink, already mixed with the crown and already mixed with the tequila. There was a point where like everyone was playing musical chairs. I'm sitting on like the 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 little bench. You know Jelani's little patio bench. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting on the bench. I'm sitting there. And I feel my whole body like just sink into the ground. And I'm not gonna say who was there. There was a baddie there, I ain't gonna lie. I'm sitting, I'm laying, I'm like sitting, right? I can feel my whole body like lean back, about to fall like on the on the wood. I said, no, I got tea up. On the what? On the wood, pause. Yeah, see? You know what I'm talking about though. Shut up. So I get up. I say, fuck, I gotta go sit down somewhere. I gotta, I gotta really lock in. Mm. So I go into like the little, like little patio, netting room, all that. You know what I'm saying? Just a sit down room, outdoor type vibe. I'm sitting there. My head is down. I'm just trying to like really think about my whole choices right now. Nico, Nico mm. and Jada comes in. Mm. Nico and Jada comes in. Jada asks if I'm good. I didn't respond. I, I, I wanted to respond in my head, you but I couldn't lo- respond. You wasn't I couldn't locked in. I was not locked in. He was not locked in. And then Jada asked Nico, is Justin going to be okay? Nico said, my boy going to be straight. Right as he says that, like everything moved in slow motion at this point. <laughs> I feel the puke prog- progressively starting to rise. So now, now I'm in my head. Now I'm like, okay, I can either get up run around the corner and puke on the grass. Am I going to make it? Probably not. I thought about my chances. I said, I got to do it right here. Nico said, yeah, my boy going to be all right. Boom. Just splat all over the carpet. And then, who? what happened? And then after that, no cap. I'm not going to lie. I blacked out. I'm not going to lie. I just blacked out. Like, I'm like this at this point. I'm just. R.I.P. And then once I came back up to, like, consciousness, I'm just like. Oh my god! I'm like this, rubbing my head like this. I'm like, oh my god! Just puke all over my sweats, puke all over the bread forest. It's 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 a mess. It's a mess. Brayden mm. was there too. Brayden has a clip of me like pondering while everyone else is cleaning the throw up. No, I'm literally like there, like just like this. Like I'm stressing. Damn. You go back. You look. You pan to the other side of the of the out of everyone outside. It's just like a, everyone cleaning the throw up. Damn, and then them niggas was cleaning it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, nah. I was, it was so embarrassing. Damn. It came to a point where I just got up and left. Man, that's the only thing I you could left. do. You would have stayed any longer. It would have been very I sat in my car for a minute. I had to think about it. I'm like, oh, my God. I can't believe I just did this. India and Jelani came in. They checked on me. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. Literally, like, a, like, a few minutes after they checked on me, I took the shoes off, took the shirt off. I dipped. How to bread for us? They're, I cleaned them. They in recovery? I cleaned them the next day, but uh, they're going to be like beaters officially. I can't wear them with a fit no more. I can't. I mean, at least you have a story behind it now, though. Yeah. You wear them. I guess I do, but, you know, it sucks. Damn, that's that's unfortunate, my guy. Not going to lie. Very unfortunate, right? Why are you laughing? Bro, it, ain't, it ain't funny, but it's like, damn. Bro. Why you like why that's exactly I was <laughs> like why and then I'm looking back at like the highlights of everyone telling happy July happy birthday it was like videos of that night mm. I you can I can hear myself in the background this was so embarrassing you wilding I'm wilding <laughs> like like there was a point where like uh they had like fire uh firework sparklers mm. and they were like you know what I'm saying waving around and joint I'm I'm there I'm like my name just though yeah my name just though yeah you yeah. was wilding I was like oh my I'm like in the bed like. I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from this story. Damn. So now, now, so now, like every time I smell alcohol, I get a flashback to that night, and it's just like I can't even like, I can't do it like how I was doing it. I can like mix it in like a drink, mm. but I just can't have it straight like that anymore. And I'm probably just gonna take a break on that. I feel that, man. Yeah. Damn. For my birthday, uh, I ain't really do much, bro. Uh, what did I do? Originally, I was supposed to go to work, mm-hmm. but. 
they ended up giving me my birthday off like last minute. So yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I really didn't have plans no way because I was supposed to work. I did a photo shoot like earlier in the day. Yeah. That was cool. I saw it. Yeah, I posted yeah. that. Y'all go drop a like if you would like. I uh, went home. And my mom kept, like, bugging me and asking. Well, not even bugging me. She just kept asking me, like, is there anything I wanted to do for my birthday or whatever? Mm-hmm. And I was like, nah, it's really, really ain't nothing I, I really want to do. But, I mean, if I was to do something, you know, I'll fuck it. I'll do it. I ended up going to Chris and Anaya's house uh, just to go over there and speak or whatever. Because I guess Chris was about to go to college the next day. Sponta- spontaneously, I was just like, y'all want to go bowling? Like, y'all want to go to round one? I was like, yeah, end up going, you know, had a good time. Earlier, like, when I when I woke up that day, I think the first the first thing I did, bro, was cry. You cried? Yeah, I just cried, bro. Got up, got up and just cried. You cried? Yeah. I got to be, like, pondered, I ain't going to lie. I don't, yeah. It, it, you know that, that little, like, morning pondering session you do? Like, you just sit there and just a blank stare, like. Yeah. Like, damn, I'm up. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I kind of did the same thing. Like when I first woke up, like damn, you know, I got up out the bed. Uh, my mom gave me a bunch of well, not even a bunch of gifts, but she bought me some stuff. Mm. It's like damn, that's cool. Got a card, read the card, tear drop immediately after yeah. I read the card. It's like damn, damn right. This shit is just twenty one. It, it's not even the fact that I'm twenty one. It was the message that she put in the card. It was the message that just had me like, damn, bro, I didn't did live the crazy ass life the and messages be him yeah the birthday messages be crazy a, a lot of people really don't be knowing like i know we all all go through shit in life but a lot of people just really don't be knowing like what the fuck i'd be going through they be thinking like life is just so good for me because you know i got both my parents you know and i'm not homeless or nothing but bro damn even in good households bro behind closed doors a lot of shit that go on Amen. And that that was really written all on the card. Like at that moment, bro, I just I couldn't do nothing but just break down. Shout out moms, man. She, mom is is a very strong woman, bro. She's been through a lot. We've Hello, been Mama through Gray. we've been through a lot, like just in general together. So shout out moms, man. But yeah, that's that's really all I did for my birthday, bro. I really I enjoyed it, but at the same time, it was like, damn, bro, just a lot of shit, bro. I had to grow up fast, so I already felt oh I already felt grown because shit I had a, a rough upbringing I had to grow up hella fast but other than that it was it was straight though I enjoyed myself I really did man but I got this crazy story man mm. so I went to the fish market for the first time never been if you haven't been to a fish market it's pretty much a market for fish don't be dumb um I didn't know it was gonna be that many people. Mm. Honestly, like I thought it was gonna be like a few, like like a like a grocery store full. Okay, nigga, like a stadium pack of niggas just getting shit. I didn't. I was so like. Un- it, it must be. It must be cheap. Huh? It must be cheap. It's like it's just like products from everywhere, mm. like across the world. So, so like, it's like it's like a farmers a farmers market. More yeah, more so a farmers market. Where where'd you go exactly? The cab. I think I know which one you're talking about. You know they got the one that be they got the flags hanging down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always we always go to that one. Man, that yeah. shit is that crazy. That shit's always packed. That shit is crazy. I've never stepped in there. It's just packed. Yeah, always. I went I went, you know what I'm saying, got the fish and all that. Mm. The thing that blew me the most was the damn checkout. That shit is so stupid, man. And they check out situ- they situation is so weird. Like they have no line. Yeah, as soon as you walk in, it's just it's people. the checkout. And then it's just people. Yeah, it's like, weird. It's so it's weird. Like a pack of sardines. Yeah, it's like, so weird. Oh, it's no there's no line. You just walk up. You just walk. Yeah. It's weird. I it's know exactly so what, what market you're talking about too. Now that I, I brought that up. I hate that fucking I hate market. I hate that market, bro. <laughs> I hate it. Bro, if you if 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 anybody from that farmers market is looking at this, fix y'all shit. <laughs> fix it, please. Yeah, y'all, so y'all got to get some sort of order in that line. Please, like, bro. Y'all, oh my god, I was so overwhelmed. <laughs> I was so I was like, where do <laughs> where do I where go? do I go? I'm just looking, I'm just looking like, oh, my, okay. I'm just and looking. if you look too long, somebody gonna take your your line or your yeah, spot. I hate, oh god, I hate that shit. Oh my god, I hate that shit. Whatever, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> but. I'm I'm standing in this line, well, somewhat of a line, mm. and there's me, an African dude in front of me, 
and I don't know what this couple is in front of me, mm. but it's it's a couple. It's two men. Okay. Right. But this that, is when I don't it, know why that this, threw me off. This is when it got. This is what kind of threw me off. Right. I was kind of like, uh, they could just be friends, but I don't know. So the African guy was like. <laughs> Get it out, bro. You can't start laughing yet, bro. Get it out. Because you were so bold. He was like, <laughs> this nigga here. <laughs> Yo, he straight up, he straight up asked him. He was just like, are y'all gay? <laughs> <laughs> no way in hell he asked him for them folks that shit. And the, and the, 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 the guy looked, turned around like, excuse me? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> are you like, gay? Excuse me. <laughs> the guy was like, "Are you gay?" <laughs> then the guy was like, "It's none of your business." So, yeah, that that is none of his business. <laughs> like, why? I don't know why he asked <laughs> this. It's just so random. Like, it remind me of that that like, meme, so, bro. It was so loud. <laughs> I'm like on the phone with Nico and them, and like it's so loud. I heard him say, "Excuse me, are you gay?" <laughs> I'm like, wait, what the fuck? He might have been gay himself, bro. Just, but, he just wondering but, um, shit. He later on, then he goes on to ask, like, "Do y'all, do y'all, are y'all vegetarians or do y'all eat fish? I see no fish on the in the in the in the in the bag. You have no fish, only veggies. Are y'all vegetarian? <laughs> Yo, the gay. I'm I'm gonna assume it's the gay couple. Mm. They look so annoyed. I was just." Holding my laughter in so hard, I was like, "No, bro." Maybe he. Was, I think he was trying to start a conversation at I that point. I think he was, but I think I think it wasn't even that bad. But it was just. It like, was a start. The just, start was the terrible. Start the, bro, that shit. Terrible. Bro, don't start a conversation. Are you gay? Are you gay? Yeah, that's that's a terrible start. Yeah. Are you gay? That's. Um, oh, I that's, think that's, everything with an African accent is funny. Yeah, it's African funny. folks, African people are just hilarious just without funny. even trying. Without even trying. Hey, I guess it's a natural gift for them, bro. All right, so let's get into the situation about our worst dates. You know, we we been we know we dating and shit. You know, we we getting older. You know, we trying to find we trying to find love. You know, let me let me know about your worst date though. My worst date. (sighs) God, you know what? I don't even go on that many dates to even say what's a bad date. Mm. Can't I can't even. That's fair. That's fair. Honestly, well, I could probably say the one I don't, I didn't find fun. No, actually, oh my god, this is a, this is kind of a bad day. I'm not gonna lie. This okay. is kind of a bad day. Let me let me hear it. Let me hear it. Okay. Let us hear it. Actually, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put this on behalf first. Mm. The date wasn't bad. The it's person what was happening during the date, behind the scenes that made it bad. Okay. Okay. So look. A girl that I was talking to, she was like, let's go to Stone Mountain. Let's go hike Stone Mountain, okay? No, 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 no. I never told you this. I never told you, you never this. told me this. Okay. I never told okay. you this. I never told you okay. this part. So we go to we go to Stone Mountain, right? Mm-hmm. She told me let's go hiking. We didn't hike it anyway. We took the gondola up there. The gondola. kind of okay. made me mad. But, you know, I was like, you know what? It's, it's whatever. She wasn't trying to sort none. Okay, cool. We get on top. We enjoy the view. Woo-hoo. It's cool, right? Mm. We we about to leave. This is what made everything bad. My car was overheating. Oh. Right? And I was trying to play it so big. I was like, I can't I couldn't get out the car at the time. Right. I gotta take her home. Right. I'm on a mission. Okay. I'm like minutes out. Like mm. I'm min- like I'm hella minutes out to her crib. So I gotta be on a mission. I gotta play it P. My car is overheating. Damn. Okay. I'm literally driving, window down. I can't turn on the AC either. If I turn the AC, it's gonna start overheating again because it's overworking the engine. Damn. So I was like, oh my God. I'm driving. I'm watching the gauge go up. I'm like, oh my god. I gotta I gotta keep my composure though. Mm-hmm. She can't tell. But in my head, I'm panicking. I'm losing my mind. I'm like, oh my God. What if the car I'm thinking of all the worst case scenarios? Like, what if the car blows up right now? Right. The fuck. Yeah. Understandable. So 
graciously, the way how the car, how how the the heat was working, mm. the more I was driving, the cooler it, it gets. Cool, it would cool it down as I'm driving, but I had to drive like fast. Yeah, like eighty, like eighty miles per hour. Wow, my car is the same way, I to, bro. I, I had to drive at eighty. Oh my cool. god! The gauge, every time I push at eighty, yeah, I, the gauge would go down. But it'll, it'll like it'll it fluctuate. Like, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, fuck. Damn, we got the same car. That's fucking crazy. So I'm like, fuck. Okay, so. I dropped her home. Mm. Mind you, I'm, the window was down. I smelled the coolant. I I can smell it. She don't. I don't think she notices. She don't notice. I'm like, it, I see it. Yeah. And the, I can see the smoke bubble up from the hood. Yes, I can. I can see a little bit like creep out. Oh. I'm like, I'm like oh, I hope she don't see this shit. I hope she don't see this. I hope. I hope. Mm, excuse me, but yeah. Pretty much at the end of at the end of the day, it was it was solved, but I was kind of scared because I saw that shit smoking, and I didn't want to go out bad. But see, that's that's not even your fault. That's just like a car problem. That's not really a bad but bit I either. I I think I I just didn't notice it while I was driving it, and then once once I started taking her back home, that's when you noticed. I was like, oh fuck. Well, shit, at least you got that's home. The, that's actually, like, the worst situation to be in. Like, your car break down and your girl with you. Yeah, that is a that is a bad situation to be in. That's a t- that's like, and it's, like, your first impression. Damn, Oof. yeah. That is a bad situation. Woo, boy. But, yeah. like, at the, at the end of the day, you really can't see it like that because it's, like, we all have car troubles. Like, me and you, we literally have the same exact problem. Like, my car still, to this day, gets hot, like. And even when I'm driving, mm-hmm. it blows out hot ass air, and it's on and it's on cold. So I gotta like hit 80, 90 for my shit to cool down, like at least. And I'd be so mad because like if I have somebody with me, or even by myself, like if I'm driving to work, mm-hmm. I'd be hot as fuck. And then all of a sudden, it's just starting to get cool. But by the time I'm at work, is by the time it's getting cool, and I'm like, really, really, nigga? God fucking damn, we you could have did on, this brother. shit. 30 minutes ago but yeah it's God. that's definitely i definitely understand your your problem but i wouldn't say that's, that's not it's too not bad. really it's not really a bad. especially I mean, I especially really for a girl that. because girls really wouldn't know the difference between pee. that shit They're unless you're pee. dating a girl who's into cars yeah. which is a a rare that's find a rare, unless a, she's fucking latina but that's a what the fuck <laughs> what but, okay. believe it or not okay. bro okay the Mexicans and Latinas, all them, them niggas love cars, men and women, Shout and they know them. they know a lot. They do Shout out to y'all. Shout out to them. But yeah, any anybody else you take out, they're probably not gonna really notice. They know they, my girl don't know how don't know how to change her oil. She don't know how to change her oil. I'm not surprised though. Yeah, I'm not surprised either. She know how to change the tire. No, that that surprised me a little bit. And it, it's too much. You can call AAA for that shit, though. I mean, it's yeah. it's too many, too like, many I other asked options. Her, I actually like worst case scenario, pop a tire. If your 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 tire pop, I'm with you. What we doing? What we doing? You know how to change the tire? She said nope. I said damn. I mean, it's it's something you really can't learn on the fly, though. Like YouTube is. Exactly. I tell That's everybody so this, shy. bro. YouTube is your best friend. Like whatever you need, Sponsors. if you need to learn how to tie a tie. Change change your uh your oil, change a tire, mm. bro. Anything. Change the uh, front bumper, back bumper. If you lock your keys in your car, niggas come up with all types of things and just it's post it, bro. YouTube is literally my best friend. That's what I how I've learned half of the it's stuff. The method. It is the method. If you need to learn how to shave, YouTube. YouTube. Hey, you yeah. wanna you wanna get waves? Three sixty Jeezy. 360 Jesus. <laughs> Literally, or Literally. Sir Cruz. Yeah. One of them niggas. That's man. that's gotta be like in every like that's gotta be black culture. That's moment. yeah, them niggas is God. put them niggas in black history month. Like, like ha- exactly. Yeah. Bro. Give them a monument outside of a barber shop. Literally, bro. Please. Literally. They they didn't raise a whole lot of children. But what was your first day? What well, I mean not your first day, but your oh, first worst, day. worst worst day. Okay. Yeah, what was your worst day? Worst day. Damn. Ah. Uh, damn, I've been on a lot of dates. I hate to say that. But um, okay. it's not. It is. But I don't. I don't really like to fool around with a lot of people. But you're only 21, bro. I get mean? that, but I don't like. Go ahead, go before ahead, before ahead. before I get in the story, I really do not like sharing my time with everybody. If that makes sense, like you gotta you gotta you gotta like spread it out. 
They what do you mean? They can't be cool with each other. Oh, well, that's a story for another oh time. Oh, my God. Okay. I mean, that okay. that is not my fault. Well, it is my fault because I'd be like, sure, or I'd be trying it, but mm. I was young back then, you know. Hey, man. Fuck all that shit. Koalitos. Go hey. ahead, <laughs> Koalito. Go ahead, though. But um, worst date, man. Uh, I actually took this, this one girl out. Damn. Yeah. What happened, bro? Okay. I took this one girl out to one of my favorite spots, you know, uh, where I like to eat at type mm-hmm. shit. Brake pads for the people that don't know. I love brake break pads. Yeah. What's up? Over there, it's by my old house over in uh, College Park. What is it? Is it like it's, they got burgers, shrimp tacos, wings, fries, whatever you want. Yeah, they got a whole bar in there, too. It's, mm, it's go there. good good ass food and it's it's not even that expensive. Break pads. Break pads, yeah. Let's go there. Let's yeah. go there, son. For sure. So. But um we went there, you know, we we bro, we barely talked. Like I I don't know if she was like socially awkward or scared, but like when we was there, I'm trying to make convo. Two quiet people is not going well, I wouldn't say quiet cuz a lot of people don't think I'm quiet. But Two people who really don't talk do not mesh well. Like, oh my god! And I was, I was literally trying. No. I was trying my hardest. Like, I'm asking a ton of questions. I'm trying to get to know the person, of course. But it's just like, even the responses were just like super dry. But I should have peeped that shit through the text messages. You gotta pull it out of them. I don't, I don't feel like doing. That's too much work, bro. That's the whole point of the date. That's how you got to get to know each other, man. If I'm asking you questions and what was the question? Let me let me ask you that. What was it was just dry. Like, like the answers the was dry. I mean, I can't give you a, a question on a spot. Give but me an example. What was like? That's what I'm asking. Like, what type? What other type of questions would you ask when you're trying to get to know I'm somebody? Saying, I'm saying like at this, you're in the scenario, like the scenario that you were in. Right. What was the question you asked? Bro. Okay, so she was in school, or she was in school, so. I was asking her, like, you have any plans? Like, well, no, that's, that kind of sounded ass, but, like, mm-hmm. what is your plans, like, after school or whatever type shit? Like, what you want to do or what you want to be in life? Okay. Or where do, you, where do you see yourself in in a couple of years type shit? Okay. What'd she say? She was like, no, nah, I don't see myself going to school. Or I, I don't see myself, like, what? like, progressing through school or whatever. Okay, so then what do you, what is, what? Do you, you didn't ask her like what are you gonna do then like what's nigga I asked what she say what she said to that I want to do hair why you want to do hair because I like doing hair oh god that would piss me off Exa- <laughs> you see what <laughs> oh I mean right god, yeah, that, was, was, that would drive me it insane. was like god damn what the fuck I gotta do to get to get you to like <laughs> give me a full <laughs> sentence but. I should have peeped that shit through through the messages because even when we was texting, the shit was like just like hair. dry. Like well, it that just, would drive me insane. It was no, I could just tell it was no excitement through a message at all. Uh, so yeah, that was. Give me another one. Give me another one. Another question. I know, God, I know, I damn, know there was Justin. More. I know there was more. Bro. Let me think, bro. Damn, this was a while ago, bro. So I can't I really, I can't really think of one. Hold on. Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> See, it was so bad. I tried not to remember the shit, bro. Damn. No, that is that um, is that is sad though, bro. That is sad. Yeah, it's, I was just asking like just any 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 normal questions that you would ask on on a date or type. Yeah. Just, like you plan on having a like how many you want a family all that shit like just what you like just to just to test the water just to see like, how you are see how your thought process yeah. was. But yeah, she was like, eh. yeah, the elevator didn't go all the way to the top floor. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was one of those, and then she was on the phone a lot. Oh, she was on the she phone. She kept picking up her phone. Bro. I was like, "Damn, I must be. I like, can't be was, that was boring." She, okay, okay. Was she on the phone like the majority of the day? Not majority of the day, but like, like whenever y'all have them awkward pauses, will y'all be on the phone? A little, yeah, she'd be on the phone. Hmm. But it was like, "Damn, I'm not the one making it awkward here." Like, you just, just told her on the spot. I would have told her. I would have been like, yo, you're making this kind of awkward, bro. Like, you're, you're, you're making this really hard on me. I, you know what? I actually was like, damn, you don't really talk much. What'd she say? She was like, yeah, I know. Oh, my God. You want to you wanna know what I wanted to do? God. Just leave. Just leave. That's. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. Just leave. Just leave. I literally just wanted it's to only, get up and leave, bro. It was only so much I could do. So can I, you believe? Can you believe that 
People believe some people that see me as an extrovert. Do you believe that? You you get a couple of drinks, yeah. But I'm saying like regular like regular self first impression. Mm-hmm. No, right? Okay. I just want I just want to put that, I just want to point that out cuz I went on when I went on a date with my girl uh, Bleep. She we're going to bleep the name. Bleep. I'm not, I'm not saying the name though. Oh, okay. But okay. I said my girl. But she was like, "Oh my god, you really like you're really so you're so extroverted." I was like, "Nah." <laughs> what? She was like, "What?" Like, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not. What makes that. you think that? That's what I'm saying. Like, what makes you think that? She'll be like, oh, I don't know. You know, you you do all the talking and da, da, da. But that's see, I, that's when I'm comfortable. But see, I think people get the narrative of like people who do podcasting as extroverts or media work or in media work in yeah media work in general because like you're forced to talk, yeah, you're forced to have conversation. Camera. But and it comes off easy because you're doing it with somebody who who you're comfortable with. But it ain't true around other people, bro. When I tell y'all I'm socially awkward as hell, like when I go out tonight, I'm gonna be hugging a corner. You like, just heard it earlier with the fish market man. Yeah, are you gay? <laughs> I was stuck. I was stuck, bro. I didn't know well, that that wasn't pertaining to you. So I mean, I know, yeah, I, I would be I would like, be stuck before too. Before that even happened, it was just a lot of people. I was just like, yeah, oh, shit, it's too many people. Too yeah. many people. Bro. I'm definitely the same it. way though, for sure. I I cannot be around. Too many people that I don't know, but when I know you, oh, I'm gonna oh, get yeah, on. Cool. I'm gonna get on everybody's fucking nerves. When it's just one on one, okay, cool. If it's like a group of people that I know very well. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm turning up but for like, sure. If it's people that I do not know, I'm not familiar with them, or it's I just don't want to give off the bad impression. Mm. I'm in the back. I'm chilling. I'm in the back. Seat. Literally, Maybach music. <laughs> I'm chilling. Literally chilling. I'm chilling. Bro. But yeah, a lot of people definitely get that. Get that persona from media people who do media yeah and i mean what can i say about that don't judge a book by its cover and speaking of don't judge a book by its cover for all of my bookworms and you of course are you a bookworm i read books you read books i read books i read a couple of books here and there books you know what i'm saying you know, i got i'm gonna get a bookshelf in here okay put some books, put some up. books up books some up. nice ass books books if I had a bookshelf, it'd be full of Diary of Wimpy Kid books. I love those books. A lot of the books. Yeah, I love those What's books. What's the books I put in? It's kind of childish, but it's just books. Though. I like it's books. It's books. I like books. What's the book though? Anywho, <laughs> speaking of books, yeah, I have an Arthur for you, right? Okay. His name is Quan Mills. Don't ask me how I found this this Arthur. Okay. But I'm gonna read off a couple of a couple. Quan Mills. Quan Mills. Q U A N M I L L Z. It's, it's real. This man. can't be a real Arthur. You go, if you guys go search on Amazon right now, the Arthur Quan Amazon? Mills Amazon, and I'm pretty this sure this can't be a real. Person. Every book, well, pretty much, it's two books that I'm looking at right now that's free. Actually, three books that's free. Three books. Three books, Quan and Mills. they're they're all audio, well. You got paperbacks and you got some audios, right? Okay. I'm just gonna name Arc- off co- like. No, nah, this can't be. A, <laughs> this can't be a real Arthur. Bro. Tell me, he's real. Quan Mills. Quan Mills. He has, bro, his reviews are insane. Four stars for a book? Quan Mills. Quan Mills. Go ahead. I'm going to just name off a couple of, a couple of titles, bro. All right, okay. go ahead. You ready Dude. for this? I'm, I'm listening. This hoe got roaches Wait. in her crib. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Come right now back. This hoe got roaches in her crib. It's $13. And it's a four star book. Why? Why is that the title? Hey, this hoe got this roaches. Hoe got, okay. <laughs> she got roaches, bro. Okay. That's one book, right? Oh, this is about to be a terrible hole we're about to go through. My baby mama is a loser. It's <laughs> book number two. Oh my god. This sounds like some Tyler Perry, like it does. Off the brand. <laughs> okay. Got we got a third one, right? Okay. Old Thought Next Door. Bro, okay. <laughs> stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, where where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? I ain't, I got I got a couple more, bro. I ain't, I ain't done. Okay, because he he's frequently writing like he's going crazy. Quan Mills. It, every book is n- not even under a four, so he's doing something right. <sighs> how many ratings though? Out of five? Like I'm saying, like how who who's rating? Who's actually spending the time bro, to read these? Y- you have okay. The first book has nine hundred people. What the f- what that rated it? 
The second one has 522. Old Thoughts Next Door have over 1,000. That, that, that ain't even, the, that's not even the best part. That ain't the best part. Pastors eat pussy too. Oh my God. And it's free. 900 people. I'm so lucky we're not getting monetized by this because this is going to fuck up so much money. It would. Well, it shouldn't because it's a book. I mean, read that title one more, one more time. Which one? The last one you just read. Pastors eat pussy too. With a, and pussy is two? spelled with a W. Two? T-O-O. Oh, two. I'm thinking like two. Like this is a sequel. Oh no. Oh, oh. You want to hear sequels? This is a sequel. No. Oh, there, he have sequels. Why does he have? You ready? Sequel? Of what? This nigga got a small dick. And then wait. There's more. There's more. This nigga got a small dick too. T W O. Sequel. Why is there a two? Why is there? Why is there a sequel to this? Film? This might be my favorite. Arthur, as of right now, I haven't ordered a book yet, but when I do, when I get this free audio book, I'm going to let y'all know how these books are. Quan Mills. Quan Mills. Are you going to bring one in on the podcast one day? You want me to buy a paperback book? This, this is a paperback? Yeah. You got paperback and audio. This is a li- this, so he's This nigga's a literal artist. Hard, hard copy. Mm-hmm. Like, this is this is ridiculous. Yeah, this nigga's, this nigga's a real person. Priests mm-hmm. eat pussy, too. P- Priests eat pussy, too. What could this be about? What could hey. that? What? How, what? Hey. How, what plot is that for that to be going going a book? Like she's only fifteen. One thousand one hundred and twenty people all gave it a four point five rating, how, how and it's free. Quan Audio Mills. book. Quan Mills. She's only fifteen. She's only fifteen. Yeah. On that note. That is the end of this episode of Ignorant Combos. Shout out Quan Mills. We're just going to end it here. Wonderful guys. Arthur. I like books. Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Apple Music. Spot- no, not Apple Music. I'm sure. Apple, Apple Music. Apple, Pod- <laughs> Apple Podcasts. <laughs> Spotify. Wherever you get your podcasts. We are there. Subscribe. Like. Share comments giveaway coming soon like what he said and oh, i didn't do my daily shout out you know i gotta knock out these daily shout outs baby shout out scissor and we out